All right, what's up guys? It's me Trim back with another video. So it is UFC International Fight Week and that means that tonight there is the uh, the Ultimate Fighter um, finals between um, Team Miocic versus Cormier. Anyway, um, I I'm not gonna make a prediction video on that car uh, that event because that's taking place tonight. So here is the uh, event for tomorrow, UFC 226, Miocic versus Cormier. Alright, so the early weigh-ins has passed now, I think, soon, and here is the card. Max Holloway had to drop out because of concussion symptoms which kinda sucks because that basically screwed uh, Brian Ortega out of his uh, potential title shot in my opinion but yeah alright I'm going to I'm gonna do the uh, <coughs> I'm gonna do the uh, main card here and one fight from the prelims so let's start with the prelims I'm gonna uh, after I done the prediction I'm gonna um, say what uh, the weight of the fighters, what they weigh in at. Cool? Okay, let's get to it. Uriah Hall versus Paulo Costa. Uriah Hall um, was in, uh, I believe, the ultimate fighter. 17 and he was on the team of John Jones and from there I believe he won his contract to the UFC but uh, recently he has been on a losing streak I believe I'm not sure um could maybe check that out all right no he won against christoph jotko okay that was his last fight um now he's facing Paulo Costo from Brazil and Uriah Hall is from Jamaica. I can't do a Jamaican accent anyway. But yeah, so I am a huge fan of Uriah Hall. I love his stand up, it is pretty uh, devastating because he has heavy power in his kicks especially his spinning hook kick or spinning um, heel kick so I really hope uh, if Uriah Hall win in by knockout Probably late round one or round two knockout. 
uh, with some kind of highlight reel uh, kick either to the body or to the head I don't know if he will do um, the kick by spinning type but yeah odds here are there are no odds for this fight. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna go with Uriah Hall. Okay. Finally, uh, it is time for Gogan Saki. Uh, I think he has his debut. I'm not sure about that, but man, people have been talking so much about him and I haven't even checked him out. So it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to do. From what I see here from his two fights, he has a pretty good accuracy and defense. Uh, his takedown defense is on 100%, so he never has been taken down. Okay, but I'm gonna go with Khalil Rontrier. Run three junior. That is who I'm gonna go with because I am a fan of him and he has responded to my uh, my comments on, uh, for example, Instagram or something or on Twitter. He's a cool guy. I've been watching him since uh, the Ultimate Fighter. So that's when I discovered Khalil. Alright. Um, I would say a round one knockout. If not, Gogan Sagi does anything. Alright. Oh, yes! Finally, so uh, this um, in the start of the week before Max fell out, this fight was set to be uh, on the prelims, but now it's on the main card. All right. Um, this was supposedly, uh, supposed to be, um, uh, that, uh, I think 2.23, um, no, it's supposed to be on that event when Connor, uh, went berserk. One thing to hunt down Khabib. Anyway, um, finally I get to see the fight. Michael Maverick Chiesa versus Anthony Showtime Pettis. I can't wait for this. And I really hope Anthony is back into his uh, devastating uh, yeah kicks because I really love them and yeah he also said that. 
for quite a while he hasn't been uh, he sort of left his base and instead uh, been trying to wrestle too much but yeah uh, Michael Chiesa is taller but I gonna go with Anthony Perez um, on UFC 3 I did a round one knockout by Perez believe me that was hard to achieve so I really don't know in reality how this fight gonna go if I were to say something I would say Round two, uh, a knockout or TKO. I would love if Anthony Perez did a liver kick and yeah, and win by using that because he done it before. That's the way he TKO'd Cerrone. But yeah, uh, okay, <sighs> Michael Chiesa has a 71% submission rate, so he is pretty good in Jiu Jitsu, I believe, um, but I'm gonna go with Anthony Perez here. Alright, moving on. Paul, the Irish Dragon Felder versus Mike Platinum Perry. So, a fun fact about this. Emil Valhalla Mick from Norway been calling out Mike Perry. So has Mike Perry, but when he sort of been asked about it, he call out other people. Are Mike Perry a duck? Like ducking Emil Meek? Hmm? Anyway, this is going to be a fun fight because who? Um, I heard that Mike Perry is kind of wild, so he has a hundred percent knockout ratio. Wow, that's cool. Only nine percent decision. Well, according to a UFC three game, they are the same. Um, they are the same rating, but yeah, oh, Mike Perry, no, he is shorter, but he has longer arms, hmm, okay, I really, okay, take down Takedowns goes to Mike Perry, from what I can see here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Mike Perry on this. It would be fun if he called out Emil Valhalla Meek if he wins. So yeah, moving on. All right, co-main event time. The Predator, Francis Nagano versus Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And this is a heavyweight fight. Both are beasts of a man. And this is going to be crazy 
right? Francis uh, Savage punching power versus Derek Lewis's um, yeah beasting or I don't know what I'm gonna say but man this is going to be so interesting I want I believe Derek Lewis has better skill when it comes to wrestling because of I think Derek Lewis used to play American football so yeah there's a 10 pound difference from what I'm seeing here but this is not the main weight this is just an example all right i'm going to go with francis nganu by knockout i don't know which round but if francis can hit uh, derek lewis without overextending himself and missing wildly then he can finish him pretty easy and quick so it's a do not blink fight for sure height i believe would go to francis nagano so would the reach on the arms and the legs okay cool uh, take down defense says there goes to Francis. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> the champion Stipe Miocic versus another champion Daniel D. C. Cormier, and they both. Are fighting for the heavyweight title which belongs currently to Stipe Daniel is the light heavyweight so as you can see here 240 to 205 that's basically the weight classes of them it's not the official weight i will get to that soon so um who are gonna who i believe gonna win this one i really hope daniel cormier can use his olympic wrestling and hoist stipe uh, and slam him on his shoulders like curling over that would be fun but yeah it all uh, depends on if Stipe can uh, use the right techniques in punching both are pretty good boxers I believe uh, Stipe is a wrestler but also a boxer while Daniel Cormier well I would say he is uh, mentally pure wrestling when it comes to controls controlling but yeah um okay this is kind of crazy of me when it comes to height and reach the di uh, disadvantage but i'm gonna go with daniel cormier i posted on ufc3 a gameplay of 
Daniel Cormier winning by a knockout or TKO in round two. So that is something I would wish for him to win by knockout. But if I know Daniel Cormier, I believe he probably would go for a rear naked show. Or something else. But yeah. Okay. There it is. Now let's go to the here are the uh, weights of the fighters. <laughs> 